everybody today we are in Jasper Alberta and we're going to Moline Lake to go visit Spirit Island today I'm here with Pursuit and also with Tourism Jasper at the Jasper Park Lodge we got here last night and had the most amazing night at the Jasper Park Lodge this hotel is seriously phenomenal you guys might remember that last winter well this past winter 2018 I went on a true North Rockies Alberta press trip with Fairmont hotels and, and travel Alberta and we came to the Jasper Park Lodge and you might remember a few months ago it was totally snowed in we were out doing winter walks snowshoeing, hiking the ice caves. Now I'm back in the summertime. It's a beautiful July day, and as you can see behind me, the mountains, the green, the lake is thawed. It is so spectacular here in the summer. And I'm so excited that Pursuit invited me and Danny to come and do the Moline Lake Spirit Island Cruise because I have never done it before. I wanted to back in 2015 and didn't really understand the logistics of how to get there. So this is super great because Pursuit owns the tour boat that takes you down the lake to actually get to Spirit Island. If you don't know what Spirit Island is, it is this iconic vista in Canada. They have photos of this in airports, but they have it on postcards. They have it everywhere, right? It's a quintessential Canadian icon of, of the Rocky Mountains. And we're going to go visit it today, take some photos and experience. It. And to get there, you have to take a boat down the lake. You can't just hike to it, you can't drive to it. Well, I guess you pr could probably hike, but it'd probably take like several days. So that's today's adventure. Our night here was amazing. We had dinner in town last night at Takara restaurant that focuses on locally sourced Canadian cuisine. It was honestly an amazing dinner. We had dinner with one of our friends from Tourism Jasper, who I hung out with when I was here in February. She was super amazing. It was great to see her. And this morning we just had breakfast at Orzo, which is inside JPL, the Jasper Park Lodge, and we had a nice buffet breakfast with some eggs benedict and some full spread and after a nice night at the pool looking at the lake we are ready for our full day of adventure here again i don't really know what's going to be in store for this i'm sure it's going to be beautiful though i'm sure it's going to be spectacular as you can see there's not a cloud in the sky it is the most beautiful morning here i'm just so pleased that i'm back here in the summer because i was not anticipating i'm getting up to jasper this summer so it's all good guys it's been an amazing trip so far at Moline Lake. We hopped on the ferry boat and we've made it up to Spirit Island. This is so much more impressive than I thought it was gonna be. The lake is stunning and the mountains around it are so grand and phenomenal. Yeah, we've it, got such good weather. Too. And it's, yeah, it's the most beautiful day too. Like we lucked out with this, you guys. We're already back from our tour. It was a beautiful experience. But yeah, we showed up and literally walked right on the boat and took a 35 minute cruise down the lake, about halfway down the lake to Spirit Island, which is actually a little peninsula wrapped around this cove. The watercolor was phenomenal. It was beautiful. And I didn't expect the mountain ranges to be that big around the lake. Like it was phenomenal. You saw glaciers, you saw rugged rocky peaks. It was everything. I thought it was gonna be a little more subdued in terms of the mountains and still like beautiful, of course, but it was really like a special treat that's so hard to capture on video and photo. This is really something that like I would really recommend if you're coming to Jasper because when we came before I passed on this opportunity because I thought oh like I don't need to go see Moline Lake. Moline Lake it seems like a little bit like just out of the reach to get to it but it was actually super super easy. We, I mean it was literally just hopped on this boat um, and there's many tours like all day throughout the summer and I do think it's worth it now looking back at it and it's a lot less difficult to kind of plan than I had once thought. So anyways overall super great experience. We're gonna head back down the hill to Jasper now and um, try and get a little canoe to try and take a photo at the Jasper Park Lodge before we head back to Calgary this evening. Did you enjoy the tour? Mm-hmm. Oh my God, my it was bigger than you thought, right? The mountains? Yeah, it was a lot more. And it was not as long. Like I thought we were just gonna be standing on the boat for a while, but it was- No, it moved like, quickly. Comfortable and nice. Like we had a nice like tour talk going down and yeah. then um, 
yeah, it's 35 minutes each way, 15 minutes on the island, perfect hour and a half, off to Jasper. So we are back at the JPL, the Jasper Park Lodge. We're gonna try and get out on the lake in a little canoe for a little paddle around. It's such a gorgeous day and it's so warm down here. We could even tan. And it's very hot. Right? And I didn't realize in the winter that this lake is actually so blue and crystal clear and beautiful. So we've made it out into the water and look how stunningly clear and aquamarine this water is. I did not expect this at all. It is stunning out here. It's almost like we're in the Caribbean, the water's so clear and so blue. We've been canoeing out here and we've made it, you know, decently far. This is the view of the, I almost said Lake Louise. This is the view of the Jasper Park Lodge from across the lake. But it is like, I can't say this enough. It's so beautiful. Oh, you okay? It's so beautiful out here. This water is amazing. I want to jump in right now. <laughs> We're going to do a few more photos, then head back in. So short and sweet, our tour in Jasper is over. It was just literally like 24 hours here, but it was an amazing 24 hours. Thanks to the Jasper Park Lodge, Tourism Jasper, and Pursuit, it was amazing seeing Spirit Island. It actually was definitely worth it. I'm so pleased we did that today. It was such a fun adventure that I've always wanted to have that I did not expect to happen this summer. So, another win. We're heading back to Calgary in the Ice Fields Park. We have a five hour drive. I'm not gonna end the vlog here. I'm gonna narrate some of the cool things. We're gonna pass the Columbia Ice Fields, some beautiful mountain vistas. We're gonna put a podcast on, sip our coffee, and head on the highway. Oh, there's a bear. Where is it? I don't even see the damn bear. Oh wait, it's like five feet from these people. Oh, it's a grizzly. Stop. Oh, no, the black is down there. Oh, oh. Oh my god. Oh, they're fighting. In terms of getting out of their car. Well, one, getting out of your car and like putting your life at risk, but also harassing this animal. I know. As you just saw, we came up on there was I saw a brown that makes bear. Me so mad. It may have been a grizzly, I couldn't really tell. But I mean literally guys, it was like four feet down an embankment from like that must have been 40, 50 people standing along the, the bank of the that road. That was so stupid. And there was literally a bear four feet down, then there was a black bear across the way a little bit. And then something happened, they got spooked, the bear started sprinting, and like just as fast as that bear started sprinting, it could have come up and hit these people. So pretty wild. So we just had a talk with one of the people holding the signs because there's construction to like, you know, stop traffic or let them go slowly. We rolled down the window, he was talking to us about it, and I asked him if he has wildlife that ever come up to him. And he said, yeah, all the time. Like, there'll be bears that come out of the bush, bighorn sheep. Um, they have grizzlies here, black bear, and everything. It was funny because that was literally right after we saw all those people on the embankment that I was just talking about, which was totally unsafe. And they warn you, and I'll give you guys a warning as well. If you're ever up in this area, don't get out of your car if there's bears. Don't feel the, feed the wildlife. Like, you're gonna scare it. It could harm you. I mean, for the for, to respect the bear as well, not just like it could harm you. Like, safety. there's so much of it that just like don't do that. Like, they really tell you not to do that. There's huge fines if you feed the animals. Um, and there was literally probably forty or fifty people lined up, and like there was a bear, children. like children. And it was literally Running four feet away. Highway. We were in this lane. And we couldn't see the bear because it was so close to that embankment. It was too steep to see down. It was that close. Anyways, that was a fascinating conversation with that guy. On a different note, we saw some really cute, were those mountain goats? What were they? Yeah. Mountain goats. Some really cute mountain goats crossing the road earlier. We are coming up on the Columbia Ice Fields, which is a massive glacier. They do tours up there in the summer. That's another adventure we'll do someday. Um, and yeah, as you can see, just totally stunning here in the Ice Fields Parkway. We're about an hour into it. And like the views are just remarkable. Really, really remarkable.
So we're relatively on the home stretch now. We're almost at Lake Louise, which is still another two and a half hours ish back to Calgary, but we've made it through some of the most beautiful parts of the Ice Fields Parkway. But I'm the vlog here because my camera is about to die. I hope you guys enjoyed our day in Jasper. If you guys want more information on how to go see Spirit Island yourself, there'll be links to Pursuit down below, as well as the Jasper Park Lodge, which again, an amazing place to stay. See you next time. Bye.